Hello people, I am Jabby Kawai, joined by Achara Kirk. Hi guys. And we're looking at Judgmental Haikia, official trailer with Kangana Renaut and Rajkumar Rao. This comes out July 26th, which is very, very soon, so mark your calendars. This is from Balaji Motion Pictures. Here we go. हम पुलिस वाले दुनिया का काटते हैं ये दोनों मिलके हमारा काट रहे हैं मर्डर इन दोनों में से एक ने तो किया है मगर चार्ज क्या लगाएंगे क्या है इसमें बोलिए अतरंगी है हीरोइन की तरह कपड़े सिलवाती है बहुत कॉम्प्लेक्सेस है तुम्हें नॉर्मल नहीं हो तुम वकील प्लीड करेगा बीस हजार का फाइन या असाइलम में इलाज दूसरा वाला ले लो क्या असाइलम वाला कंफर्टेबल हो वो आ गया देखो देखो वो आ गया यशव को देखकर मेरे रोंगटे खड़े हो जाते हैं बता नॉर्मल लाइफ नॉर्मल जॉब कुछ ज्यादा नॉर्मल नहीं है आजकल नॉर्मल लोगों से डरो जिस डाली पे मैंने नजर डाली वो डाली किसी ने काट डाली मैंने झूठ बोलते सिगरेट चिकन खाए तो इस इल्जाम में आप मुझे मर्डर में फंसा दोगे आपकी बेबी को पता है आप सात दिन घर में बैठी यही आलू भुजे खाते रहते हो Well, that's different. Yeah, yeah, very, very different. I think the thing that really struck me in the whole trailer was when she says about Rajkumar Rao's character. He's very normal, which is scarier, and I think I'm inclined to agree. Sometimes with trailer reactions, you have this sort of pressure to come up with a thought right away, and I feel like this is one where. I sort of have to let it sit with me for a little while. I don't have an instant thought about this. It's just, it's it, it caught me by surprise at every turn. Let me see if I can sort of think about this out loud. Okay. So she's a crazy lady who's being accused of a murder, two, a double murder, double homicide. Yeah, she's one suspect. And, and Rajkumar Rao is the other one. Yes. And at some point, there seems to be an affair where he's cheating on his spouse with, with crazy lady. I'm not sure. So, so I think she's just obsessed with him. I don't know how much of that is in her imagination or how much of that is real. Well, well, that's that's the whole dangerous and scary element, right? Isn't it? Is that someone could be so obsessed with you and convince the police, the the law, you know, the the authorities that. <laughs> That you were associated with something you don't even know the person, or she's the perfect scapegoat because she's considered crazy, and therefore, who are you going to believe? The person who seems to be sane and have his life together, or the one who seems to be clearly unhinged, but maybe she's the voice of truth and she's the voice of reason. Or she's just such a genius that she's tricked everybody. I have so, no idea. Oh, uh, is it Baby Driver? No, not Baby Driver. What am I talking Usual about? Usual Suspects. Not but Gone Baby Gone. What the hell's the name of that Ben Affleck movie? Oh, Gone Girl. Gone Girl. Thank you. I don't know why I kept saying baby. A uh, Gone Girl is is what I was thinking of. That this is what that reminds me of is that same kind of thing where you've got this twisted lady who could convince people of anything, but in Gone Girl. She had the appearance of being sane and being a victim, mm -hmm. whereas here she doesn't seem like a victim. She seems no. like the opposite, 
Yeah. Uh, who was potentially the victim by accident, <laughs> just by it, just like by circumstances, she happens to be like she's crazy and very aggressive. But in, in it, but in, it just so happens in this particular instance, she's not the the aggressor uh, who caused the. Or is she? Yeah. Thanks. So oh. I mean, well, I'm trying. I'm trying to just figure out what the what the story is here. So that's essentially what the story is, right? Over the course of the film, is that they're both taking the cops for a ride. Yeah. Is essentially, and and the cops are just perplexed and confused, and so you're not sure between the two who did it. This is freaking hilarious because I just saw another trailer this morning uh, called Knives Out, which is essentially the same idea. It's a whodunit story. Right. Um. I mean, that was an ensemble cast, whereas this is two people. But but still, it's interesting that like back to back, you you have these kinds of stories. I wonder if it's like in the ether what's in the zeitgeist that is, is, is driving these kinds of stories out but i just wonder as well that in the title judge mental and they've emphasized the mental i don't know what hi hey kya kya what i don't know is that what it means there's clearly an emphasis on sanity if you study psychology and stuff like that whether someone is sane or insane it's like how do we really judge that do you know what I mean like sometimes the line can be so fine and you can kind of cross into that territory yeah it's just interesting it's like who's really the the crazy one in mm -hmm. this situation you know who's really the psychopath it felt like I was getting pulled in a lot of directions at the beginning of the trailer that's why I was a little bit confused as to what was happening because they showed you all these different characters of the of the female lead uh Kangana run out I was like Okay, so what's going on? Like, they showed her as a cop at one point, you know, with a motorcycle on top of somebody. Yeah. And I was like, wait, what? Is... And so they're really emphasizing the point that she's crazy. Yes. And that Rajkumar Rao is, is the, you know, the victim, supposedly. And so what you're saying, which is, it's probably usurp, it's probably going to usurp your expectations when you get there, which is, it turns out he's the one that did it. Or it's maybe someone that even hasn't been shown on screen yet that is like this sort of a character who is, who's there in the, mm -hmm. in the, who's just present enough to help the story forward, and then you find out it's that dude the whole time. Yeah. You know, that like, I really want it to be something that we haven't even discussed yet. Do you know what I mean? Like, we're, we're going, oh, is it her? Is it him? Could it be this? I want it to just be something that hits you out of left field. Like an alien. I mean, sure. <laughs> That's a reference for those of you who watch South Indian films. Well, just one South Indian film in particular, but yeah. Yeah, but you know, just something really unexpected, but I was going to add a caveat, is that it has to make sense. Because I know when we watched Kahani 2, mm -hmm. it was it was really cool, and they, you know, they were trying to usurp your expectations and take it a different way, but then at the end you're like, yeah, but you didn't really drop all the clues. I love it when a movie like this, where it's like, you're trying to figure out who did it, what happened, when there are little clues interspersed throughout the movie that yeah. if you pay attention, you get it, but you really have to pay attention, and then at the end, it all falls into place. And I, like, wow. I, 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 didn't, I didn't love Kahani 2, but that's not limited to Kahani 2, is what, ultimately what I'm trying to say. Sh no, it's not. Sh uh, Sherlock Holmes did the same thing. I almost, I almost said Sherman Oaks. <laughs> Sherlock Holmes did the same exact thing. At the end, Robert Downey Jr. is going off on his, you know, his, his diatribe of all these things that's happened, and it's like... And, Dude, like, I didn't see any of that. But that's sort of the point of Sherlock Holmes as, right. as well, is that he sees things that you can't. But yeah, I agree with you. It'd be great if in the last 15 minutes of the movie, in the wrap-up, when they're explaining, like, who did it and how, you know, they how were How they got away it. with it. Yeah, yeah. If, if they were able to drop the clues along the way so you, you could have seen it if you were paying attention. Yeah, but, like, really subtly. I love it when that happens, when you're like... Oh, that's what it means. Like I want I want all those moments where I'm literally got my hands in my face and I'm just like, huh? Right. <laughs> yeah, that's what I want from this movie. The fact that Rajkumar Rao would sign up say. for this it, it has the majority of what has me interested in this. I mean, that's that's what got me initially interested at all is is him being part of this project. Uh -huh. Consistently every time he chooses something, it is without a doubt an interesting story, an interesting premise of some kind. And in, generally speaking, whenever we're watching him, or every single time we've watched him, it's been a very interesting movie. Yeah, you know? and I feel like even in his performance alone in this trailer, I'm getting so much because he he's just bringing a lot of layers. Like, I, I like him 
But I'm also afraid of him. Right, because you don't know who's like... Yeah, because yeah. he just he just comes across as this type of guy, in this trailer at least, who's got secrets. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he is giving off this kind of almost predatory vibe. And I don't know if that's just, you know, the, tr the trailer making me think that or if that's actually supposed to be his character. Kangana run out as well. Like, she's super cool. I think that the two leads they've got here were really strong. Mm -hmm. So... It's it's bound to be a pretty interesting movie. If you notice, they didn't really give too much emphasis on any of the cops in yeah. this trailer, and I'm wondering why that is. It's mostly just being told through their narrative, each of them. Right, the you know. narrative of, of the two leads, right. you're saying. Yeah. Exactly. Anyways, you guys, do let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Be honest, be verbose. Do check out a Char Kirk and the Jabster on the social media if you feel like doing that. Twitter, Instagram, all those good things. Tiger Schroff did, ha <laughs> ha. Anyway. That made my morning. That made me very happy. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go to my Twitter or my Instagram and you'll see what I'm talking about. And uh, yes, uh, subscribe, hit the bell icon to get notified every time we drop another video. Check out our other reactions, reviews, short films, vlogs, interviews. I am Jabby Koei. This is Achara Kirk. Peace out.